Hello and welcome back everyone. Now let's come to your index.php file and in index just come to the ul tag here and in the ul tag just create a php tag here and in php tag just call your function cat cat which we have make here in our functions.php file get cat so we create the function here and I'm calling this function in my index.php file with uh, this name get cat and just close this uh, div here the left side bar div here now come to this side by title div in brand and give this to id like id cat because i'm giving the same id to the categories and brands because we want to see uh, the categories and brand uh, same uh, in the same style on our website so just come to this brand and type your call your function get brand here and now just control us to save your page uh, now come to the style.css file and in style.css file we have to style our uh, cat id we have to style this uh, id here in our style file style.css file now come and give the style to cat I'm giving padding to 5 pixels and uh, I'm giving cat style to I'm giving the style to li of cat like this cat space li and I'm giving here is list style so it will show uh, the categories and brand in the list style on our website now the third one is um, cat a which is our link now give this a style uh, the color now first of all control us to save your page and see what happens in your browser now refresh your page and nothing is happening here and it is giving the fatal error call to undefined function get cats in XAMPP on line 26 here now go back and see what is on line 26 get cats get cats here cats here function oh I'm not opening the functions uh, I'm not opening the database connection in my uh, index file here so just first of all uh, create your database connection here or just call your database connection here by uh, typing include and in include my folder name is includes and in include folder I have the file which is db.php so in this way we uh, open our database connection here so now and also include um, your functions here functions is my folder and functions dot php is my file name now now this include functions slash functions dot php so now index page recognize the functions dot php here now get back to your code and this is also in php tag and close your php tag here now control s to save go back to your browser and refresh your page and it is showing another error here and define variable in functions dot function dot php on line 29 and parameter on line 31 just go back to your just go back to your functions on line 29 it is giving error on line 29 here 
run run as you will get brands here now make it a global connection here so we can access this global uh, this database variable from anywhere here in my get brands function db flash now control s to save go back to your web browser and refresh your page and the error is gone now the another error is uh, warning mysql query exact parameter one to mysql i on hdoc functions uh, functions on line now just go and create a database connection here db mysql i underscore connect now similarly you create your now just type your local host here your database password uh, username uh, root and your password is empty and your database table name and put a condition over here my sqli underscore connect uh, arno and in this just type echo if the connection is successful then run the connection and if if the connection was not successful just uh, give this exemption the connection was not uh, established and write mysqli underscore connect underscore error here now terminate this sentence now press ctrl s to save this basically it will uh, run our database connection from here and if this get an error in any of my uh, database connection while running so it will give you this exemption here the connection was not established and give the uh, error the system error from here now control s to save your page now go back to your browser and refresh your page and it is showing the error on unexpected error on functions line 5 see that what is that error on line 5 uh, there is a single parenthesis over here now save this and go back to your browser and refresh your page now it sh shows you the mobile category here and the tablet category here and the connection was not established there is an error in our connection use of undefined error assembly mysql error in c functions on line 5 now go back to your code here connect erno or this just put double quotation over here the page go back and refresh your page and the error is gone and it is showing the mobile category here and the tablet category here so now come to your styles and after the color just give this a font size Found size of um, you can say 31 pixels and give a text decoration which is none margin I'm giving uh, um, 40 or 39 here 39 pixels now the line height 40 pixels here now control us to save this page and refresh your page and you can see it is showing you the fonts in the larger now go back and also add the hover style in our category and give a color to 
just give orange here and now control s to save go back and refresh your page and you can see that it is showing whenever a person hover on this mobile and tablet it will show the orange color go to your index page the id is category and ul div is close here delete this div and ul title from here and div brands and the id is cat now the ul and the div close here now control s to save your page and go back to your browser refresh your page and you can see it is showing the categories and fetching the categories which we have saved in our uh, database here and go to your shop table and the brands categories table we save these two uh, cat titles mobile and uh, mobiles and tablets in our database uh, and it is showing and the brand which is HP and Dell and it is showing fetching the data from database and save into your functions cat cats and get brands and showing them into your index page in category sections and brand section like this I'm calling the function get cats here and get brands here so it will fetch the cat uh, categories which we have stored in our uh, categories database categories and show them into your browser and the brands uh, which we have stored in the brands column in our database and showing them into your browser so in this way we fetch the data from our database and show them on to your website so that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial